Now, I have been having a leaky problem. Originally, I thought that the seal was loose and whatnot. Um, called the dealership, got quoted for over $500 of work. I said, thank you, have a good day. And did some research and I found some pretty cool videos. Uh, it seems to be a very common problem with this generation of Nissan, Rogue at least, that I know of. I know that my Murano from like 2005 had a similar issue. Um, but basically as it rains, this is like very heavy rain. Um, any water that gets through the seal goes through here, which you can see with all the uh, dirt stains and whatnot. Uh, it's meant to pool up in here and then go down little drains which you can't really see from this angle um i guess it should be this right here sorry it should be that right there um and then go down the a pillar to the um windshield guard and then make its way down and end and pour out through there that area Okay, we have removed what we needed to, which was the windshield, I'm sorry, yeah, the wiper shroud. Um, be careful when you're pulling it off. Here, there's not much to worry about, but if you get to here, there's this wire. So just don't like rip it off. Um, you could keep it perfectly propped up this way. It doesn't get in the way. Um, and these are the drainage uh, valves, pipes, whatever you want to call them. Um, as you can see, it's got a lot of nonsense in there. And the reason why these clog is right here. This piece right here is supposedly some sort of little mini filter. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's clogged up. Let me try zooming in. I can't zoom in while I'm recording, okay. Yeah, you see? That's what that looks like. The problem with that is, this filter clogs up really easily, which you can see with all this like dirt and, and grime and, and dust and all that. And really the only solution, see? 
I just gave it a little bit of leverage and all that nonsense is coming out. Um, let's understand the system a little bit. By the, let's say you get water um, up by the sunroof. It fills up and it travels down the A-pillar and it exits out through here. And where here is, is as mentioned in the engine bay, uh, specifically right beneath the wiper shroud, which is why you have to take the wipers off. It comes out through here. And if you follow the stream, there's this little hole right here, right there. And then it just travels down um, to the road pretty much. If you were gonna put a filter anywhere, it would have been up top by the sunroof. Like here, where you could easily access with your fingers or a tool and clear out any dust or grime that way. Uh, instead, they said no. We're gonna put it all the way at the end where it has to travel at least, I don't know, almost three feet worth of tubing. It has to travel. And if this got clogged, you're not noticing that until you notice moisture in your um, headliner and it's dripping. And by then you're gonna think something's wrong with the, the seal or whatever. You would never think that it's all the way down at the bottom. This filter, <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't see a purpose for it because by the time the water gets down to here, it's got all this room to travel, it's got this, this large hole, and then it just goes down into the road. Why putting a filter here makes no real sense. Um, it, I mean, by the time, like, let's say if you neglected this for a while and you let this clog, I mean, right now, the clog is just at the tip of, the, of this. But if I completely neglected this, the clog might even be as far as here. And that would be a much bigger problem, so. Basically, what I'm going to do is just break this, you know, the, just this part really, and get rid of that so it's a nice open stream instead of doing that. But I want to show you guys first. I'm going to pour some water up in the reservoir area. I'll show you how it pools. There we go. Okay. See how it's pooling? See that? That shouldn't happen, right? And if we go down here. See, that's how that works. But you see, because they have this little filter, it's so easy to get clogged, especially in like a monsoon like we had here, that it really struggles. So what we'll do is just prop this open and just get rid Okay, so I just put some water. Keep in mind, guys, I just caught on to this like maybe a week ago, all right? Within a week, look how bad it clogged and look how little it drips. God forbid you didn't see this or like you just always neglected it and never actually noticed that this was the problem. I mean, this would be a really bad time. So I'm just going to go in. I'll try to go in because this is a tough angle since the motor is there for the wipers. But let's give it a little twisty twist. Oh my god, we can do better than that. There we go. Woo! There we go. Now we're gonna actually clear that up as more. It's a tough thing. I mean, you could take the entire motor out. It's not that complicated, but. Let's see how that works. I mean, much better. 
much much better but I'm gonna try and clean it up a little bit more just because it is still somewhat tight and I don't want it to clog um, but yeah that, that's really it and then you just you don't have to do anything there anymore you just break that little centerpiece right there and then just put your put your shroud back on make sure you clip it you know and then that's it you, you just saved yourself at least five hundred dollars and like five hours out of the day but i hope you guys enjoyed